Hey guys, Speed604 here. Today I'm going to be doing a head stud install on my 2013 Dodge Ram 3500 6 7 Cummins. I'll be kind of walking you guys through on the process of it and what you guys will need to do it. These are the things you're going to need for the install. Glacier Diesel Power makes a good um, installation manual. I'll put a link to that in the description. You're going to need obviously your head studs, a 14 millimeter. Uh, shallow and deep socket. You're gonna need some rotary files to grind down your um, rocker cover You're gonna need a 3 8 wrench a breaker bar or an impact You're gonna need um a half inch torque wrench and a 3 8 torque wrench and obviously a socket set and a drill So you want to remove the oil fill cap and then um, disconnect the breather tube and the oil drain tube from the breather Basically you want to remove, um, as shown on the Glacier Diesel Power installation kit. You basically want to pull off your valve cover in pieces. Put the crankcase valve filter cover off and the filter out. You want to use a 10 millimeter. There's two here two in the middle and then two way back there that you got to pull out valve cover off you want to get all your six bolts loosened and then if you look over here there's a connector that when you get it high enough you're going to want to unplug it there's this blue connector right here you're going to want to unplug that when you lift it up stop we're off here you also make sure to get these two hoses out and you're going to have to work around the wiring harness You have to be gentle when pulling it out, not to damage any wiring harnesses. Step for this is you're going to want to unplug this connector here, that's your injector harness connector. And then you're gonna wanna undo each of these. You're gonna have to undo each of those to each injector. And then you're gonna wanna pull this gasket off and put it aside. Eight millimeter on top of the injectors. When you go to put them back on, don't um, put them to the torque spec. Just do it hand tight and a little bit more because they're really delicate and you can break off the heads off the injectors and then your injectors are gone bad. At this point now, when you got your um, all your injector harnesses off, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. You're gonna want to take each and every rocker arm off, and you're gonna want to have to keep them um, keep them in order. So what I like to do is um, basically have a piece of cardboard to lay it out on, one being the front of the truck and six being the back. You're gonna want to lay all of them on your piece of cardboard and make sure that they stay clean. Pulled out, you're gonna want to pull them out in basically the whole assembly and keep it tracked. So, this is one as I have my first, which is closest to the truck, and then from there it goes back, back, back to every single cylinder on the back. You have the rocker um, cover removed. We're going to need to go back to that. Basically, this section right here needs to be ground down, as shown in this photo, because the stud actually protrudes out past that. So right there, you want to um, you want to grind that out so that it's got some more room for it. So we're going to go do that with the grinder. 
and we'll get back to you after that. So basically after grinding, I got it to look like this, got it pretty much flush. And you see all those metal shavings there, you're gonna have to clean those off unless you want to grenade your motor. So make sure you clean these off before even trying to install this back on there. Once we got that all ground down, we're ready to um, start pulling one uh, stock head bolt out and putting one ARP head stud in. So right now I got my breaker bar and then my torque wrench. So this is the uh, instructions that you get when you um, buy your ARP studs. So this is your torque sequence. When you get the Glacier Diesel uh, manual, it also has that in there too. So you want to start with number one and then you got to work your way around. So you pull one head bolt out, put one head stud in, torque it to around um, 100 foot pounds. And then you do the second one. You pull the second head bolt out and then you ought to basically work your way around all the way to I think um, 26. Okay, so we're gonna start by pulling um, this number one head bolt out. So we have this head bolt out now and we're going to have to replace this one with um, a head stud. Studs here. These six ones are longer and these longer ones you need to make sure to put on the exhaust manifold side, meaning all the head bolts that go over here. So now that you torque down all your head bolts, I've torqued mine down 140 foot pounds. You want to do them in sequence, so you want to start off with 100, then I went 113, then 126, and then straight to 140. And then after you do this, you want to install your rockers back on. So now when you get the, um, all the rocker arms on, you're going to have to put um, your injector harness back on. Be careful tightening all these because these little studs on the injectors break pretty easily. Hey guys, I do so it's now the next morning. You would just want to put them on. So, um, the injector harness on there. Make sure that it's seated.